Hey everyone, what's up? What's new? What's going on? We're kind of midway through the first point of the second set as I forgot to press play or press record on my camera. But anyway, we didn't really miss much. We missed maybe two, three shots in the last, in the first few seconds of the of the match. But anyway, we are at the second set of the 2013 Rarson Li Ning Open between Antika Young and Nikki Ong on the far side of the court and we have on the near side of the court Davon Reed and Aiden Lim who have been trying their best to, to actually earn some points in the first set. They've been doing okay in the latter part of the first set. They ha uh, they've been trying to keep it as close as possible at the same time. Nikki Ong and Antika Young on the far side, they've been just way too good finding, finding very crafty ways to win points. Uh, whether it be playing the net game as we just saw there or going for the big power play as Antika just slams one down onto the back of Davon Reed, apologizes immediately afterwards and that must have stung quite a bit because if you see an Antika smash, it is one powerful smash. Um, maybe only second to Nikki, uh, his partner Nikki smash, really. But right at the front of the net, that has got to sting quite a bit. Anyway. We are continuing on with a fairly lopsided scoreline already as uh, Nikki gets to serve at 4-2. That flick serve working to great effect against Davon. And usually Davon would be able to get a lot of these shots. But when you're playing against somebody as talented as Nikki and Andika, you, you kind of hesitate, you kind of... Uh, kind of doubt yourself with every single shot that comes by and that's what happens when you play against great players oh my god did you just see that Andika going for a cartwheel I think that was a cartwheel saving that backhand shot putting it cross court Davon trying to finish the point but couldn't get it over the net and, and the store well the really the scoreline tells it all as we get to 8-2 in the first couple minutes of the first game, or of the second set. Davon taking his time. And clipping the net in that defense. Nikki getting a little bit lucky there. But he's definitely had a lot of practice defending uh, against these types of smashes. They're not particularly the strongest when it comes to you know, international and national player level. So Nikki's seen it all. He's been able to defend against those all day long. Not to say Aiden's smash wasn't, isn't really that strong, but relatively speaking, uh, both Andika and Nikki do have the edge when it comes to power and well, pretty much every single aspect of the game so far. You can see by the body language of Aiden that he's disappointed about that last serve, sending it just a bit short on that last short serve. <laughs> and Nikki's still sending a lot of his backhand clears, uh, just maybe six or eight inches long of the back, back line, so uh, he's really got to adjust uh, to that if he really wants to kind of sort out and really finish out his game uh, a little bit better. Going with a big drop shot followed by the smash and Davon unable to handle it on his on his forehand side. So once we once again we get to the midway point. 11-5 is the scoreline in the second set. And you know both Davon and Aiden are like, what do we do against these two guys? Every time they, they lift, it comes down hard and comes down fast. And if they don't lift, they have to do a net game or a control game where uh, both Nikki and Antika are just so quick and so good at getting the, the shots back that you really don't have any real solution. Um, so basically, you know, if you don't play the perfect game, you're kind of out of out of luck against these two players. So Dave on to receive at 11-5. And you can see how casually Nikki is playing right now because he, he knows he's pretty much got the game in the bag. He doesn't have to play at 100%. He could save some of his energy for the final, uh, which he's likely going to progress to. <laughs> Whereas, oh my god, Andika going for the huge jump smash. Davon able to get it back, but Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. He was just standing there waiting for that return and casually just puts it back. 
how can, how can you even react to that? That was just insane. And even more insane is considering that they're playing against the two players that have done really well in previous Ryers and Opens. And that's the level that uh, Andika and, and Nikki has uh, brought to the Ryers and Open. Andika with the quick reflexes at the front, killing everything he, he possibly sees, cutting everything off. And 15-6 is now the scoreline. We're only about five minutes into this game, and this game is almost over. Davon with a quick snap on that, anticipating that long serve, and Mickey couldn't even get a racket to it. So Davon really just giving Nikki a taste of his own medicine. Oh my God! And Dika still continuing with that cut, uh, those cutoffs at the front of the net, and he's not even cutting off. He's actually returning that with so much more power than, than he's receiving it in. And it looks like they're doing a little bit of bird feeding to Davon's forehand. I think they've been doing way too much coaching at this point. Kind of, uh, yeah, just doing the bird feeding styles that they do when they're coaching. And always feeding to the forehand. Maybe next time they'll feed to the backhand. You never know. Aiden again going for the big smash. Still feeding the forehand, but this time it's to Aiden. Davon has the chance, but couldn't finish off the point. He had the midcourt lift. Went for the drop shot and completely framed it, I think. So 17 8 is the scoreline with Antika still serving. Oh. Antika almost got full there, but still was able to get the shot back. And now Nikki with the big smash. This time Davon returns it, but Antika able to finish it easy peasy. 18-8 scoreline, and Dika's still serving, and it looks like the, there's really no way for uh, Andika and Nikki to lose now. Going again for the big smash, this time Davon still got a racket to it, but couldn't control it and knocked it off the court. And I guess you could use this match as kind of a precursor to to what you might see in the final because it probably will end up being first and second seed of course uh, Nikki and Andika are the first seed are the number one seed going into this tournament uh, second seed would be Charles Pine and Joshua Herbert Yu so if it ends up being first first seed versus second seed I can bet you it's gonna be a very very close game and it might be just as intense and just as <laughs> Crazy as what we saw in the 2012 men's, men's doubles finals. <laughs> so match point, match point 20 to nine. As Nikki still being very casual and lifting, and still lifting to uh, Davon's forehand. Oh, and, <laughs> and Dika trying to go with a slight trick shot doesn't go over the net. I don't think he's going to be too worried about that since he still has a 10 point lead. Now a nine point lead, really. Davon and Aiden making a little bit of ground, getting to two digits, but Antika quickly finishes off that rally and finishes off the match at 21-11. So on to the finals we go.